This is Twit. Google is working on something that they're calling never slow mode for faster browsing. A uh, bleeping computer put me onto this interesting experiment that one of the Chrome developers is working on. He calls it never slow mode. And the idea is that if while a web page is loading, something is taking too long or something is too large, it will be abandoned and ignored in favor of getting the page loaded. Um, I've got a link to his description uh, in the it's it's under review for the Chromium project. And, he, and so I'm going to share what he what he posted. He said, never slow mode. He says, prototype, do not commit, meaning I'm not suggesting that, <laughs> that we push this out in any channel right now. But he said it adds the enable hyphen features equals never slow mode flag to enforce per interaction budgets designed to keep the main thread clean. Now, the main thread is that thing is like it's the the main it's the main thread which downloads the content. Uh, he says currently blocks large scripts, set, sets budgets for certain resource types, scripts, fonts, CSS, meaning style sheets, images, turns off document write, clobbers sync XHR, that's the, uh, you know, the, the Ajax queries, enables client hints pervasively and buffers resources without content length set. Now that means if the resource, normally a resource that you're, you're um, requesting, you returns a content length tag or a content length header uh, so you can so that the requester can immediately see the size of this so he says it buffers resources without the content length set meaning it will get them but it's going to kind of put them off, hold them off to the side until it can see how large they are rather than holding up the page he says budgets are reset on interaction Meaning, you know, this, so this is a, a non-interaction, you know, click to load the page. As soon as you click or tap or scroll or do anything interactive, then the budget's reset. So it says, he says long script tasks greater than 200 milliseconds. That's, so that's, uh, you know, a fifth of a second. Pause all page execution until the next interaction. So like... For example, that would instantly stall anything trying to mine cryptocurrency on your page. It would just get – just shut down. So he says these caps, you know, like as in caps on uh, – you know, caps – you know, budget caps do not apply to workers, meaning worker threads, and size caps are lifted for resources loaded from service worker cache storage, meaning things that are happening – asynchronously off off on the side they're allowed to continue this is just like the main show me the page you know like the experiential thread so he says current caps all values are wire for example transfer compressed size so this is the the actual over the wire compressed size not the expanded size which is to say you know the the size that you you that that you feel because it's taking time to get into your machine. So he has the per image maximum size set to a megabyte. Um, or is that a megabit? I don't know. M I B lowercase I. Um, anyway, a uh, good question. I didn't think to wonder before. Could be a megabit or megabyte. It's capital B. Uh, what why I've never seen it. Written with the M-I like that. Yeah, it's kind of odd. That must be uh, uh, some sort of European thing. Could be. So, so, but what's interesting is the total image size, well, we'll call it a byte, a megabyte. Total image budget, two megabytes. So there's both a per and a total. Per style sheet max size, 100K. Total style sheet budget, 
200K. Per script maximum size, 50K. Total script budget, 500K. Per font max size, 100K. Total font budget is 100K. Total connection limit is 10. Long task limit, as I mentioned, is 200 milliseconds. So then he said under to do, he said iframe depth is not yet limited. Oh, that's interesting. So nested iframes. He said and font loading is not yet greedy. Feature policy header to trigger on per page basis is not implemented. No UI is implemented to inform users that a page is slow. So, okay, so I'm not suggesting that this is going to be like like an immediate win. And, and I would agree with anybody who thought that it seemed fraught with peril. Um, but I l really do like the underlying incentive behind this um, because today there is virtually zero pushback against sloppy coding, lazy image sizing, massive code libraries being downloaded just so that a single function can be accessed. I've seen that so many times and it's just insane. You know, some, some sloppy web coder wants a particular function in some library. The thing, the library is massive and, but it's, for, and it's all downloaded for like, so that one function can be called because the guy's too lazy to code something simple themselves. It's just, ugh. anyway, that's what's happened to the web now. Um, so, and, and, you know, the, these guys don't care because they're busy uh, and no one is making them care. So they just let the pages consumer pay in bandwidth and time. So the idea that the number one web browser in the world might start actively pushing back uh, and is like experimenting with this against needlessly slow page loads. I mean, again, this could be fixed. Images could be could be given more care and and compressed. Uh, code could be looked at to say, wait a minute, what, you know, why is it so big? Uh, anyway, I just think I say bravo to this. I hope that uh, that the experiment uh, is. We know that Google cares. Google has done things like this about like about like being a little bit policey about by about uh, caring about the page load time and the experience that their users have. So I just wanted to sort of put this on everyone's radar. We'll, we'll see where this goes. It would be nice, I think, if, if it had some future.